I'm starting this video with a warning that this video contains major spoilers for the campaign of Call of Duty Cold War. So if you have not completed the campaign of Cold War, I highly suggest that you do so before watching the remainder of this video. But if you have played the Cold War campaign, or you don't mind any spoilers, even major ones, we may begin today's video. As we know, Perseus is the primary antagonist of the game Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And we know that he is an extremely infamous Soviet spy. But there's not much more other than that that we know about him. During the game, he remains an extremely mysterious character. And I can't speak for everyone here, but personally, I have completed the campaign twice, each time choosing the different ending. And despite that, I still have many unanswered questions. So that is why today I will be talking about all the information about Perseus that we either didn't learn from Cold War or we may have missed. But before I talk about the Perseus that we know of from Call of Duty itself, I wish to start with the real world history of which Perseus is inspired from. You see, during the real world Cold War, the United States had some reason to theorise the idea of a Soviet spy who had infiltrated the Manhattan Project. And as we know, the Perseus that we know of from the game Cold War also infiltrated the Manhattan Project, as well as a few other things that this hypothetical Soviet spy did not. Luckily for the entirety of mankind, however, research into Perseus was conducted in the real world, which concluded that Perseus was nothing more than a fabrication of Soviet propaganda. And for anyone curious about the code name, the name Perseus comes from a hero and warrior in Greek mythology. Now let's talk about the Perseus from Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, where we'll talk about an important detail which you only learn from the game itself if you choose to side with Perseus. And even then, there's still a lot of questions that need answering. You see, the CIA used Perseus as the code name for this Soviet spy. Except, this is not Perseus. And at the end of the campaign, if you sided with Perseus, he will tell you that the Americans were fools for thinking that Perseus could only be one person. The real question isn't who is Perseus, but rather, what is Perseus? And the answer to that is a Soviet-based spy ring. And Perseus is not only the name of this organisation, but the cover name of each of its members, which would likely be where the CIA got their codename from. But what is the goal of this organisation founded by the character Perseus? And why was there a need for a separate spy ring? Why couldn't it just be the KGB? Well, you see, Perseus, the character, and his supporters disapprove of the current state of the Soviet Union and believe that at its current rate, with its current leaders, the Soviet Union wouldn't last let alone overtake the United States as the world superpower. And they knew for a certainty that they would not be able to realise their plan to change all this within the jurisdiction of the Soviet Union and the KGB. So because of this, the character Perseus and his supporters had to create a rogue faction. But despite this, their plan, at least how they see it, is a pro-Soviet Union plan. It is a plan to rid the world of United States influence and make the Soviet Union the world superpower, revive the dying idea of Soviet expansionism, especially in Europe, and of course overthrow the current government of the Soviet Union and replace it with one more in line with Perseus's idea of communism. And there's no way to confirm this from Cold War itself, or from the fandom wikipedia page, but what the fandom wikipedia page does tell us is that the Perseus spy ring is still active in the present, despite that the Soviet Union disbanded in 1991. So what's most likely the case is that in the present day, Perseus operates to either reorganise the Soviet Union, 
or replace modern Russia with the government in their own image, because what is definite is that they certainly do not approve of the modern day Russia. So that is Perseus. I hope you guys found this interesting and learnt something new, and I will see you guys in the next video.